What's going on, my kids? Today's Age Braver Draytail Fox Foxy once again coming at, back at you with a brand new episode of City Skylines 2 Port St. Lacey. And in today's brand new episode, we're going to be adding in some of the um, top of the skyline finally around here. So it's going to be looking pretty nice right about now. Obviously, we're not done with the downtown or the skyline or really anything like that yet because um, there's still a lot more that I have planned, but we finally kind of are starting to establish what the skyline's gonna look like out here, and we also, in this episode too, we gotta get the first pieces of I-95 started out here too, so obviously I mentioned this was inspired by the Time Meister back in episode one. He's working on the um, southwest Florida regions, the Tampa region more specifically, Tampa, St. Petersburg, stuff like that, and here I am closer to Miami, that being, um, Port St. Lucie, obviously that's where the city name is pulled from. I could also explain the other half of it too, but A, I feel like it'd be really kind of easy to pick up on, and B, I really, really, really don't want a certain big end to strike this video down out here too, so I I'll leave it up to you in the comments to figure it out yourself here, because can't touch me if the commenters figure it out, at least as far as I know. I don't know. I don't know if like, you know, I don't know if we'd realistically go that far, but anyways, right now we're currently working on the major roads out here too, obviously adding some more, I don't really want to say alleyways, these are more so streets with like no markings in the downtown, I don't know if we should actually have this in the downtown like so extensively, I feel like we should be using one way, like very wide one way roads instead. The problem is we don't really, actually, I was about to say we don't really have the mods to do that, and then I realized Road Builder existed, so maybe I could use Road Builder to pull something like that off. I do know Road Builder is still a bit on the um, unstable side right now when it comes to mods, but then again, Move It, Control Z, and a few others were also causing crashes in the past too, so maybe this update fixed some issues with Road Builder too. I don't know. I do know the recent update brought in a um, update to traffic, and I want to talk about this specifically. And yes, for anyone asking here too, I will be using the French buildings at some point right now. I mean, they look absolutely gorgeous, so there's no reason for me not to build a little France, little Germany, and a little England out here too. Because I do know we got these Cities Around the World DLC coming up right here too, although the last one might be given a different name out here too. I, I don't know yet, but I do know... Um, I will be using those, but back to what I was talking about previously, the traffic mod here. Now, I don't know how someone at um, Colossal, well, I don't want to say Colossal Order, this was more of a Paradox thing more than anything else, because it's kind of their mod's platform that they kind of shove down Colossal Order's throats as a um, publishing deal or something like that. I don't know what the exact details were. I do know, I believe it was kind of agreed upon that um, Paradox mods would be used instead of the Steam Workshop for this release, which I... I Still don't know what to think of it. I do like Paradox mods out here, but I feel like Steam would have never let something like this happen. So basically what wound up happening is the traffic mod got an update pushed out, and according to Colossal Order, or um, Paradox Interactive, it was mentioned on their forums, they it posed a security risk out here too. Oh boy! So yeah, apparently there was a malicious DLL file that got uploaded to Paradox mods in the form of a traffic update. Creator's mod account got compromised, so they had to go sort the situation out and then notify everybody. And of course, for a brief period, at least I think, I had the file installed on my computer. Now, obviously, when I went to go check, it was no longer there. The traffic mod had already updated, or maybe it stayed on its old version, too. I feel like if it updated to the compromised version, I probably would have lost access to some accounts or something like that, like YouTube or... Potentially even worse, Streamlabs or PayPal probably would have lost access to those, but as far as I know, no one's live streaming anything crypto on my channel out here, you know, no one, nothing incredibly stupid is happening right now, so I think for the most part I'm okay, I don't think the traffic mod updated, at least on my end, even though I totally played with the mod during the affected dates, I guess it just never updated for me, which I guess it's kind of a lucky break. I don't know, maybe I should knock on wood because I am kind of a walking jinx magnet out here. But anyways, right now, off the traffic mod topic right now, you can actually see I've updated some of the um, buildings out here, including adding the um, tallest building in the skyline, or at least the building in which I intend to be the tallest. It's possible one of the residential buildings could go taller, which, if you want my opinion, makes absolutely no sense because the office stuff is typically what I put in the core of downtown out here. 
you know, that's where everybody's going to um, downtown for. They're going to downtown for the jobs out here if they don't happen to live in downtown. And obviously, I did include a lot of residential skyscrapers and whatnot. Basically, as many housing units as I could possibly put in there. Try to keep the rent costs low, although that may not really work considering I'm building in Florida, you know. Private equity firms will probably just buy out the entire freaking city and then just, you know, start raising the rents to excruciatingly unsustainable levels. I don't know why, I don't know why we allow that here in the States. God, a certain friend of mine here is not, not kidding around out here. He, we really do need to cool with the capitalism here, but not the point right about now. Right now, we're kind of like adding in some of these little pathways out here. And of course, I got to add the urban police station. I don't think the police helicopter could take off from where I put it down, though, which does suck, actually. I, I kind of like the idea of having a police helicopter in there. But I, I guess, like, you know, I just left too little space for it, which is somewhat fine. I don't really mind that too much. I may, like, redo something with that um, tree line area at some point, though. I, I don't know about it, just kind of like, you know, sitting there. And yes, I did kind of install some pathways around here too between the mixed use developments around here. That's another thing you're going to be seeing very commonly in a lot of my builds, regardless of where in the world they're based. There's going to be a lot of like, you know, mixed use buildings out here. Yes, that is something I do want to put out there. And trust me, I'm a huge advocate for urbanism. And one of the best ways you can urbanize, urbanize like anything here is to put mixed use zones down, especially once you reach higher densities and whatnot. It perfectly makes sense out here. But yeah, I'm thinking about doing something with that tree-lined area, maybe like making like a little bit of a, um, a little bit of a kind of mini park strip or something like that. I don't really know. But anyways, right now, we're getting closer to the end of the episode out here. We're finally adding in the first stretches of Interstate 95. Now, I'm thinking about adding an I-3, either I-295 or 3, either an I-295 or 395 out here. Because I feel like a city this large, because this is way larger than Port St. Lucie is IRL, at least if I recall correctly. I'll have to look up the actual population of Port St. Lucie, but I don't think it's like anywhere... I don't think realistically it's like on the par on par with Miami out here, so I'm trying to keep the skyline small because you know I'm not building the New York City of Southeast of the Southeast United States out here. But yeah, I'm trying to kind of like you know trying to like build I-95 out here, but I realize a city this large might be able to benefit from a auxiliary highway route. I do know I'm planning on adding in a reference to Florida's turnpike at some point, so it's entirely possible I do a bunch of, I do at least a couple toll roads. In fact, in the actual city of Florida that I plan to relocate to, there's six separate toll roads when you count Interstate 4's express lanes. So, um, make that another deterrent that means i'll probably get left alone during like you know major holidays and stuff like that which is kind of what i want actually i'm not gonna lie huge introvert i don't know if i could handle like hosting anything or anything like that but yeah i'll talk more on that on discord if anyone's curious here at least it won't be a frustrating time to stream on thanksgiving because i've actually got a 24-hour stream plan for the birthday and i really don't want that getting messed with but anyways we're getting like super close to the end of the episode out here, so if you did go on to enjoy, you know what to do. You got a reminder three minutes in. You got another round to come up at the end screen. I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye for now. And have a great day or night. No matter where in the world.